Sleep. I'm so tired. In this short video, I want to explain how lack of sleep makes you gain fat. Watch the video. So, in this short video, we're going to look at how lack of sleep actually leads to fat gain. And the most common question I get people say, Robert, how is it that lack of sleep actually leads to fat gain? Let's take a quick look at this. It's a fattening combination and it all adds up to a slower metabolism and fat storage. When you get less than six hours of sleep, the scientists call that sleep debt. You haven't gotten enough sleep. And what does that do to your physiology? It changes your hormones. One of the things it does, it alters brain hormones and you get hungers and you get cravings. And this is subconscious. You don't even know this is going on and you tend to eat more. Also with this, the lack of sleep affects your thyroid function and it slows your metabolism. So you're eating more, your metabolism slowing down, and your body increases a hormone called insulin. And you may be aware that insulin promotes fat storage. But there's a little bit more to this story. You see, what also happens is you feel run down and tired, so you don't move as much, so you don't burn as many calories. Combined with this, you tend to lose muscle when you're in sleep debt. And finally, it reduces your mood and your willpower. So you tend to make poor food choices. And ultimately, this causes us to overeat and that leads to fat storage. So we're gonna focus on sleep debt and these two hormones involved in hunger and cravings. So let's take a look. Lack of sleep makes you eat more. Well, how does it do this? Well, when you don't get enough sleep, it alters brain hormones for hunger and cravings. One of the hormones that is produced by your body is called leptin, and that's produced by the fat cells, and it tells your brain, eat less. But unfortunately, when you get low sleep, leptin decreases, so the brain doesn't get the signal to stop eating, so you get cravings and you want to eat more. And a confounding hormone to leptin, the opposite hormone is called ghrelin. And what it does, it's a hormone, it's the gas pedal. It says, eat more. And guess what? That hormone increases when you have sleep debt. And finally, layering on this, there's the hormone insulin. And insulin promotes all these extra calories that we've eaten to be stored as fat. So ultimately, this combination of leptin, ghrelin, and insulin makes us store fat. So we eat more, we don't feel full or satisfied, and insulin? Well, insulin promotes fat storage in our bodies. Now, let's do the math on how this leads to fat gain. What the scientists show and what the research papers show is that on average, people eat about 350 extra calories per day. Well, over a 10 day period, 10 days times 350 calories, that's 3,500 calories. And guess what? That equals one pound of fat. But the question I get is, well, why don't I gain one pound on the scale? Well, it's interesting because you've gained fat but at the same time, remember we saw that people tend to lose some muscle. So you've gained fat, lost some muscle, so there's little change on the scale. And ultimately, you start to replace muscle with fat. This is what's called the skinny fat person, sarcopenic obesity. So it all adds up to fat storage. When you don't sleep right, your stress levels go up, you make poor food choices and you overeat, you don't move as much, your willpower is down, and ultimately it leads to belly fat and other fat on your body. So set yourself up to win. Get a good sleep. The experts consistently say seven or eight hours a night. That puts you in a good mood. You feel better. You look at the world better. And even when the world's negative, you're positive. You get fired up and excited. You make better food choices. You tend to move a little bit more. And you start losing weight. And 
your relationships improve because your blood sugar is more stable and ultimately you end up losing weight and specifically fat. How nice is that? And as sleep debt affects so many of us, please help other family and friends and forward this educational video on to them. In the next video, we're going to look at one of the key hormones that regulates your energy levels and fat storage or fat burning. Master this hormone and you will have great energy and it will be easy for you to burn fat as you reduce stress. However, you miss this one and you're destined to a lifetime of struggle with weight gain, low energy, high cholesterol, and even cancer. So go watch this video now.